Hey everyone, Joey Castillo here. Out on tour at the moment with Scott Weiland and the Wildabouts. Uh, play with Eagles of Death Metal and Blast. I'm glad to be back here playing with Vader Drumsticks. Uh, was with them, I think, probably about 15 years ago and uh, made a very wrong, dreadful switch. <laughs> and I recently just came back uh, this year, and I'm uh, really excited about it. I'm sure most people know, a pretty amazing stick. A lot of versatility with the, the, the whole line in general, and um, I'm stoked to be back. I'm currently on tour with Scott Weiland and Wildabouts, and I'm using the Power 5B wood tip, but I normally use the wood tip rock which is a little bit heavier and longer, and uh, I get a lot of flack from both my techs and Mr. Chad Brandolini for beating the hell out of things with those, but great stick and I love it. The reason why I'm actually using uh, two different sticks at the present time is uh, with different projects. Uh, I'm using the Power 5B with Scott uh, Weiland. Uh, it's, it's a little more uh, straight ahead, rock and uh, it's, it doesn't take as much uh, of, a, of a power thing to kind of get through this, but at times it, it still requires that. Uh, and the versatility of the Power 5B seems to work pretty well with that. Uh, Weight-wise, it doesn't plow through heads normally like the uh, rock does, uh, which I use with uh, Eagles, Death Metal, and I use it with uh, Blast. And um, I in the very beginning used uh, with Queens of the Stone Age still. Uh, but that's my favorite stick. The power, I mean, the wood tip rock is, uh, it's heavy and I like that. You know, I get a nice swing out of it. Um, it's really durable. It's got a little bit of, a little bit of uh, more length on it than the Power 5B as well. Yeah, I started playing drums when I was about 15. Uh, kind of late for a lot of for a lot of uh, a lot of kids these days. Uh, Self-taught. Friend of mine had a drum set. Um, sat with him banging around on the thing in the garage and kind of just immediately. I mean, well, I did immediately fall in love with it, and uh, I ended up playing it most of the time. Uh, but then he ended up moving away, my buddy, and then there were no drums around for a few years and. Uh, I, I, I got pretty, I really got serious about it uh, when I was probably, well, I mean, 15, 16 years old, 17, I was into punk rock and just going to shows and seeing a lot of players like, you know, Chuck Biscuits and Rubbo from Black Flag and, you know, Spit Sticks from Fear and all these, and Lucky Lair and the Circle Jerks, all these guys were like kind of big influences on me and, I, and then that kind of really, you know, I think formed me as a player, uh, although I hope I'm a little bit, uh, have a little bit more of a wide, wider range of type of playing, and I think I do, but it was probably the best school ever was seeing those great players like that. Um, and that's where I literally got my start and got my uh, real taste of actually being on stage and stuff like that and figuring out, you know, parts and songs and stuff, you know, but, but obviously like everybody, you know, it's like you grow up on music and there's obviously John Bonham who's the greatest ever. And then, uh, you know, going through all the years of listening to just every type of record I could get my hands on, you know, that was always huge as well. So, um, but you know, at this point it was, um, you know, my life is basically just driven by bands like, you know, the Eagles of Death Metal and, you know, and my band Blast and, and now working with Scott and um, just still trying to keep everything fresh and exciting. And, um, you know, I just I just still still to this day, man, I just I just still love getting behind the drums and just banging away and and having fun and you know it doesn't matter where or how big of a place or how many people are there you know it's still I have to say it's still the best thing in the world it's just getting behind that kid so 
I love it. Okay, well, I just want to say thanks to everybody at Vader once again for uh, welcoming me back with open arms and um, all the other players who you know at Vader who are all amazing drummers and people as well. And uh, I just uh, look forward to seeing everybody this the rest of the year. I got uh, Scott Weilen and the Wildabouts still wrapping up, going on till about uh, I think May, and then I start out again with Eagles of Death Metal. Uh, the new record coming out, I think, in April, May, right around that time. And um, I have a record coming out with Blast, so I'll be looking forward to doing that. And, uh, yeah, I'll just see y'all out there at some place, I hope, sometime. Take care.